guys what's going on my name is Cody the guy you see on screen is Eli and today we are going to be comparing a few locations where we have candy machines and our good friend Daniel at Superior Vending has a few full line machines all of these are one week collections on both of his machines and ours so let's go ahead and get right into it first off guys we are here at a tire shop this is a place that I guess they also repair cars as well uh, but they primarily sell tires as as their uh, sort of business But we have a Futra right here in front of us. That's of course Daniels and our beautiful three-head machine here uh, Let's go ahead and get right into What it made and she did pretty well not too bad guys. We're looking at 850 for the week so uh, looking pretty good for just a, uh, a bulk spot, very nice. We went ahead, followed Daniel out to his car and he did over 150 in sales on that Futura inside there and he also had a snack machine, but looking very clean and very fat. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to our next spot. We have a car detail with a Rhino machine. Very, very nice. We got Reese's Pieces, uh, Skittles and peanut M&Ms and then we have this super nice future here looking fantastic as well I'd say this is futures flagship vending machine for sure it's gonna run you about three to four thousand dollars and depending on your credit score you can get it on credit for about hundred and fifty dollars a month let's see if it's worth that hundred and fifty dollars a month right now and guys we're gonna go ahead and dive right in to Daniel's machine here and see just how much exactly he's working with here he's gonna show us the change first and all those quarters it's looking pretty sweet all right he's gonna dump them in his pouch there and let's get to the cash and see how it did and here's what he said Slow down a little bit. there is a guy <laughs> he does exist <laughs> He does exist indeed. Look how fat, guys. Very, very insane. Super nice. Got some fives in there too. Looking very sweet. Very sweet indeed. All right, we'll go ahead and walk on over to our Rhino here. Turn it around and see how much we have made. All right, just like that, we got the back door open. And look at all of that. We're looking at $29.25 for the week very very awesome Eli's gonna go ahead and just scoop all of those quarters right into the bag there so guys while our bulk machines don't make nearly as much as Daniel's vending machines the payoff rate is a lot higher you know uh, of course it is because you know just look at them but uh, it's just something to consider uh, while you're trying to get into the business all right next spot guys we are here at a car detailing and car wash location with daniel where he has a dixie narco 501 mc and we have this beautiful rhino pro looking good all right this is one of the only machines that daniel doesn't have a credit card reader on it something that's pretty interesting and uh, something that really, really helps a business grow is that those uh, credit card readers are becoming way more popular. You're seeing them a lot more than you used to. Eli's going to go ahead and take the top off here. And we're going to go ahead and fill up the peanut M&Ms and the Reese's Pieces. So they will be looking nice and full. Very nice. All right. 
and Daniel over here has his Dixie Narco open. Let's go ahead and see how she's doing. And look at the cans there, looking pretty low. Open her up, and the dollar's looking pretty low. Not, uh, not the best, but looks like $30 or so. Let's look at the quarters. And, uh, yeah, with those quarters in, uh, so yeah, those quarters combined, we're looking at about 40 bucks. And, uh, not too shabby for a, uh, a $700 machine, that's for sure. Eli's gonna go ahead and open up the back, and wow, it did absolutely amazing. We're looking at $25.75 for the week. Absolutely love it. Another excellent bulk spot, as always. All right, guys, Eli's going to dump all those in a improvised Reese's Pieces bag because that's the way we roll. And uh, Daniel being very honest with us and giving back one of, a, uh, one of the quarters that we dropped. Thank you, Daniel. And guys, we will go ahead and move on to uh, counting all this money. And uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some other things, but take a look at all of those coins looking good and clean just a couple of uh hiding quarters there in the corners close her up and uh we'll be looking good turn her around get the uh sometimes these machines they just they come off a little bit on their stand there they just have to be tightened up and then with the eli uh tilt uh, we're looking at a very clean machine guys all right uh, so what do you guys think based on just a few of the locations do you prefer bulk vending or full line vending let us know in the comments why you would choose bulk or full line we'd really really like to know uh, we stick with primarily bulk and cranes and coin pushers although we'd consider more full line spots in the near future if it were the right fit for us guys all right we're looking pretty good too on uh the money i've already told you guys how much we made all together but 63.25 we're looking pretty clean not too shabby at all and uh guys i just want to thank you guys so much for for watching all of our videos and subscribing and and everything and all the comments are so nice so uh check out our live stream every sunday and uh i want you guys to take care and go land a location thank you so much for watching goodbye